Yo, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another spicy guide. Today we're going to be going over the basics of PvP. I've noticed a lot of my guildmates don't know how to PvP. They don't know the CC limit. They don't know what kind of knockdowns or stiffens or any type of other CCs and how they work. They don't know their protections and they don't know how to extend combos. So in this video, I'm going to go over that with you. So let's go. Yeah, let's 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 yeah, let's just be awkward. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's jump right into it. Right now we're going to be talking about CCs. And how many CCs can you apply to a single person? So the max amount of CCs you can apply to a person is two. And on screen, I'm showing you the CCs and how much they CC someone for. So since I said you only can have two CCs on a person, they end up becoming immune once you land two CCs on them. So they end up becoming immune to all CCs for about five seconds once you hit the CC limit. So on the right hand side of all the CCs, tells you how much it applies to the two maximum. So a knockdown cancels one, a stiffness and a knockdown counts as 0 0.7. So hypothetically, you could do two knockdowns and then you're already CC capped. And then the person that you're fighting against is immune to CC for about five-ish seconds. But if you do a knockdown into a stiffen into another knockdown, you could do that because you're still below the CC limit. Because you do apply the first knockdown, it counts as 1. You do a stiffen, it counts as 1.7. So you're still technically below the CC limit. And you could go over it if you apply another knockdown because you're still under the CC limit at that point. So you could string together different combinations of CCs, which is really cool. So whenever you're trying to do a CC combo, you want to do any type of CC. You know, like a hard CC. We call hard CCs any of the CCs that count as 1. And then we count soft CCs as any of the CCs that count as 0 0.7. So if you land a soft CC, you're going to want to follow it up with a knockdown and then some damage into another knockdown and then some damage. That's the, that's the general key way how you do a combo, basically. If you don't do it like that, there's other classes that do different types of ways. But just the general overview of how CCs work and how you want to, you know get the most out of your combo is do one CC that's a hard CC into some damage into another hard CC into some damage. That's a basic overview. If you want to get very fancy and get the most out of your damage, you're going to want to interweave some soft CCs into hard CCs. So let's move on to the next subject. So let's talk about smashes. There's only two types of smashes in the game. There's air smash and down smash. These smashes allow you to extend combos beyond the CC limit since they count as zero when it comes to the CC modifiers. So whenever you do a knockdown into a knockdown, that's already putting you at the CC limit. But air smash and down smash also count as another CC that doesn't take up a, uh, a, a slot in your two CC combo. So what a lot of people like to do is that they like to do a hard CC into some damage, into some hard CC, into a down smash, into some damage. So it's a lot to take in whenever you start uh, interweaving soft CCs and hard CCs. But also, you're also including your smashes so you could get some crazy, you know, 5 CC combos. So make sure to go through your class and see what kind of down smashes and air smashes you guys got. Keep in mind the only thing that's bad about smashes in general is that sometimes they miss. They're very commonly missed. There are some combos that do have a guaranteed down smashes, but you just have to figure that out yourself since it is class specific. But yes, down smashes can miss. So don't put your whole combo behind a down smash. There are only two damage modifiers in the game when it comes to PvP. There are down attacks and air attacks. Whenever you see a skill with a down attack, that means that skill does more damage to a person that's in down state. And for air attack, that means it does more damage to a person that's in the air. 
So whenever you're setting up a combo, you want to see, hey, what state is this person in? Are they on the ground or are they in the air? If so, you use a skill that does a lot of damage that also has the down attack or air attack modifier to it. Some combos only have down attacks, but most combos at least have one of these modifiers in the combo. So play around with your class and see which one works best for you. Okay, moving on to protections. There are three types of protections in the game. The most powerful protection in the game is invincible, or formerly known as iframes. Whenever you are invincible, you cannot take damage, you cannot get grabbed, you cannot be CC'd, and you cannot be slowed. This means that nothing affects you whenever you're invincible. Moving on to super armor. Super armor is the most common protection out of all the classes because it means that you cannot get CC'd, but you still take some damage whenever you're in that state. If someone does walk up to you and grab you while you're in a super armor, the grab will still go through. So you can't just be spamming super armors hoping that no one's just going to walk up and grab you. You still got to have some movement in there. Forward guard is very unique because you cannot get CC from the front, but if someone lands behind you and throws a CC, you're on the ground. Also, it does not protect against blocks. I mean, it, uh, my bad. It does not protect against grabs. So whenever someone just walks up to you from the front and just grabs you, yeah, you're going to go on the floor. Another thing that's really cool about forward guard is that it prevents all damage from the front, which means like if you're low health and someone's just throwing out a lot of damage, super armor isn't going to help you that much because you're just going to die, but forward guard would actually prevent the damage. So those are the three common types of protections. Now I'm going to show you guys some cool tricks that you guys could use whenever you guys are trying to learn a new character and how to PvP, PvP with them. So whenever you're on a new character, you don't know anything about it, the best thing to do is just hit K. And I know a lot of new people like to just look at the skill and read it and be like, okay, this one has floating, oh, this one has a down attack, oh, this has the damage modifiers. That's not the way how you go about it. EDO has made it very simple to where whenever you click this little skill filter right here, it pops up everything that is important for your class. So like, let's say I want to know all my protections. I would just go to the protection side and just click all of them. So this, these are my iframes, which Zerker doesn't have that many iframes, um, sadly. Oh, we have one. Okay, so yeah, we have one iframe, super armors, of course, and then forward guards. So that's a quick way how to go about learning a new character. You know, you want to see the knockdowns of what kind of CCs you want. Here you go. They're all there. It even highlights them, which is really good. So whenever you're learning a new character, hit K. Go through this and just start clicking through these and reading whatever they have attached to them. Another thing too is that if you're unsure about a combo or what type of CC limits you're doing on a combo, come here to the little dolls right here in Battle Arena. Any of the Battle Arenas, they're always right here. So you spawn in all the way over here and then you just walk a little bit over here and there are some dummies that are kind of like mobs. So if you're unsure what kind of CC you're throwing and what kind of damage combo you're throwing out, it tells you 0 0.7 and it tells you what kind of CC, stiff is. And if I do a grab, it's a grapple. So whenever you want to learn a new combo, just come here and just look at whatever the mobs are saying. Right here, they're immune and it's about five seconds before they become unimmune. So I can knock, knock them down again and so on and so forth. It's really good to, to come over here and just try to combo and see how it stacks up. Down smash just also work here as well. So yeah, those are down smashes. You just come here, practice your combo and get better. Another thing too is that if you actually go here and you go to character selection, there's this thing called trial character where it gives you basically a I don't know, I wouldn't consider it capped, but I would consider it like pretty high geared character with unlimited skill points that you could use. So whenever you make a trial character, it gives you some trial gear, which is pretty decent. It's not the best. And it also gives you all the skill points you would possibly need to actually start PvPing on the class without you having to invest too, too much. I think the only caveat is 
is that you only could use two trial characters. I don't know if you could increase the character slots for trial characters, but it gives you all the buffs for one cent. It gives you all the health potions for one uh, silver, I mean. And yeah, so just click on the trial tab. Oh, you can have three. Can I make a third? Yes, you can. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, you go here and you're on your trial character. For me, I only play Zerker, so I have Zerkers on my trial characters. And so yeah, if you just want to learn without having to like swap over and gear your main when you're just curious, yeah, this is a trial character. You have trial gear right here. And then everything basically costs one cent whenever you go over here and you talk to this guy right here. Health potions are one silver, all the buffs are one silver, and then this is a chest that gives you all your gear. So yeah, um, just come over here and just practice. Another thing too is that if you want to like practice against people who are always fighting, the best place to go to is always Battle Arena 1. Battle Arena 1 is by far the place where everyone tends to go. Some people just like to hang out and just like talk. Other people are just fighting. So if you just want to get into, into some random 1v1s fights and just learn and just have fun with it, go to Battle Arena. No one in Battle Arena is trying to like smack talk or anything. Honestly, PvP is not even that scary, so just go have fun with it. And if someone's just like smack talking you, who cares, man? Just go find another person who's way more decent. So yeah, this is Battle Arena 1. Everyone's barely loading in. So yeah, everyone's just here chilling. You know, the Zerker homies here, you know. But yeah. Oh, this guy's trying to fight. Oh, I'm gonna try and leave me alone. But yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I am trying to get to the content creator. Uh, I'm trying to be a content creator for BDO, so like any subscriptions or views or likes will help out a lot. I'm extremely close to hitting the content creator status for BDO. And if you guys want to, check me out on Fridays on Twitch, because that's when I normally stream. And I do appreciate all the support and watches. Thank you guys, and have a good rest of your day.